Hey everyone, Leo here. A uh, few small business owners that uh, took advantage of the PPP or is uh, in the process right, of taking advantage or applying for PPP. Uh, I'd like to give you some news that uh, perhaps they may uh, be good news for you. So um, President Trump signed today a new law relaxing the PPP rules and I'm gonna talk a little bit about things that uh, were included in this. By the way, this is not anything about political side, right, to either um, be pro-Trump and if this, if he signed this or no, right, this is just mostly to uh, inform business owners of what happened, especially those that took advantage of PPP, because I know some of them had questions related to some of the benefits that were included or added. So some of the things that I would like to uh, let you know is that in um, some time ago or, or about two days ago, I posted um, uh, information that the Senate, right, uh, I posted information that the, in the main video that the Senate approved on uh, Wednesday afternoon. Today I'm making this video on June 5th, in the afternoon. On Wednesday afternoon, the Senate approved, right, the uh, changes got the Spanish version over here so let me switch back to the English version so in June 3rd the Senate of uh, Congress approved or US Senate I, I can't remember the US Senate, Senate approved um, um, the um, the terms right to make it more flexible uh, 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 the, this program the PPP program that a lot of uh, uh, small businesses apply for and so uh, this is an update to let you know that okay this was approved on June 3rd by the Congress or US Congress US Senate now the only thing that was missing is the signature of the president so today June 5th or Friday um, the president signed it and some of the things that including here that I know that were uh, important to a small business is that um, the the, the period where you can use it. The period where you can use it is now is uh, extends from eight weeks to 24 weeks. Uh, so in other words, before you had to use that money within eight weeks. Now you have the opportunity to use that money within 24 weeks or until December 31st, whichever happens first. Uh, now what happens if you don't meet that, right? If you um, uh, either go over the 24 weeks um, I don't know. I'm not an expert in this. What I do can, what I can tell you is that it, depending where you're located, if you're in the Solano County area or if you're in California, um, I can put you in contact with a local SBDC that has experts. You don't have to pay any money on this, but they have experts that they can give you one-on-one -on -one consultation all for free um, in, in reference to your your situation. Uh, or to let you know what happens with the PPP. Um, also, obviously, you want to get in contact with your lender that uh, is giving you the money. Make sure you understand the, the 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 terms and all the conditions about that program about the loan. Um, if you don't know where to find your SBDC, if you're not if, if you're not in California or, or in Solano County, uh, just go to America's SBDC.org and look for find your SBDC, put your zip code, and then uh, it will give you the information. So now other the stuff that were included on this ex exception, okay, what, what happened to this now? Other benefits that were included or or something or other things that were included is that extended it, it, it um, increased the or reduced the amount needed towards payroll. So or the percentage needed towards payroll. So before you needed to use at least 75% of the loan towards payroll. That means they left 25% to only to use for um, operate, operations of the business. Now, I know that was critical, important for a lot of businesses that I talked to because um, most of the expenses were actually coming up from operations, right? The rent uh, or lease, uh, utilities, et cetera. And the reason why, obviously, because employees they could let go if needed. Uh, some employees will go into uh, unemployment, uh, but uh, things like rent, utilities, there are things that they couldn't get rid of, right? Um, yeah, they could stop paying, but yeah, they got to pay that back. So it's better to find the money to pay it as soon as possible. So now the, the new law allows the businesses to only 60% or at least 60% to be used towards payroll. And then that allows, that gives business owners 40% of the, the loan to be used towards operation. 
So, um, by the way, there's money still available for on, the, uh, on this program, so uh, make sure to continue to apply. And again, you can contact your local SBDC consultant or expert to uh, give you some more guidance. Um, I, I don't know about this one, so I'm not going to cover that one. Uh, it's just very higher requirements. Uh, I'm not, I don't know about that one. Um, the the the, the uh, something else that happened with this that was included with this new law is that the repayment terms right it goes from two years so before you have to pay within two years now that got extended to five years so you have five years to be able to pay it back uh, if you need to pay it obviously most business owners are going for um, the uh, the forgive they're going to ask for forgiveness on this loan so they don't have to pay it back right and um, uh, and so obviously if you do have to pay it back it's gonna be you're gonna have five years and the the interest on that is uh, one percent so you, you if you borrow I don't know fifty thousand dollars from this program you have and you have to pay it back or if you have a portion that you have to pay back uh, you have five years to pay it back and you have to pay it back with one percent interest um, so that's basically what I wanted to cover on some of that stuff. Like I said, the other stuff, I, I, they're too complicated for me. I, uh, that I don't understand. One thing I would want to let you know that every, I think it's Mondays, Mondays, Wednesday, and Fridays, uh, SBDC are doing calls week on a weekly basis to give you updates on what's happening, what's happening on these programs. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, they're, they're, they're in Spanish. So, Mondays, Wednesday, and Fridays they're in English. On Tuesdays and Thursdays they're in Spanish, and I can give you that information if you if you want it. All right, that's all for today. Please share this information if you know somebody that it's important. If you need to contact me for some reason about the what we talk about today, um, you can visit my website digitaltrack.co. I own a digital marketing agency here in Solano County, and uh, my number you can call me or text me it's seven zero seven four one zero zero three zero seven. Or you can scroll down to the bottom of the, my website and uh, look at the different links to, uh, of my social media profile. All right. Have a good one. Bye.